Hello everyone and welcome back to our tutorials on using different AMO CRM features. Today we will cover another useful sales automation feature called the Change Field Trigger. This trigger allows you to automatically fill in any custom field once a specific condition is met, thereby reducing unnecessary manual labour. So, here's how this trigger will streamline your workflow. Field values in lead cards will be automatically filled out if they were previously empty. They can also be edited if there has been some data previously stored. You can select one or more fields to edit simultaneously. This option is pretty handy if you have the same type of values in the fields and just need to fill them in once a specific action has been executed. Now we'll show you the working mechanism of this trigger through a proper example. Let's say we'd like to give a 20% discount to each of our customers on their next orders. So, we set the change field trigger in such a way that when a lead reaches the closed one stage, the value of the field discount gets automatically changed to 20. Well, let's dive in a little deeper to show you how it all works in action. Suppose our beloved customer makes a purchase. Once they do so, their lead in AMO CRM moves to the stage closed one. Now, when we open the lead card, we can see that the field discount has already been changed to 20, exactly the way we wanted. There's also a message about it in the feed. Lead card feed is a magical place that stores every bit of data about the conversations and actions associated with a lead. So, it helps us know the entire story without missing out on any detail. Well, now that you know how the change field trigger works, it's time to learn how to set it up, right? This is the lead section where you need to press setup first. Then you'll move to the digital pipeline where you can set all the automatic actions. Now, click on any empty cell under the closed one stage. Then, from the pop-up window, select Change Field. Now that the Trigger Setup window has opened, you can customize it the way you want. Next, choose when to execute the trigger. In our case, the most suitable option is when moved to this stage. Then, select the field you want to implement the trigger on. We're choosing the field Discount, which of course is a custom field. It means that we had previously created it in a lead card. It didn't exist in the system by default. Well, an interesting thing to mention here is that you can create any custom field you need. Once it's done, you need to specify the field's value. Let it be 20 in our case. Here we'd also like to check the box to apply this trigger to all leads already present in this stage so that we can cover all active customers. You can do exactly the same if needed. Finally, don't forget to press Done, saving it all. So, this is how our ready-made trigger looks in the digital pipeline. Click Save, and that's it. The setup process is officially complete. Thus, from now on, you have one more useful automation tool in your arsenal. The Change Fields Trigger. It will help you fill out custom field values hands-free once a specific condition is met. So enjoy our sales automation features and implement them in your workflow to reduce your manual efforts while focusing on what's more important, selling. Thanks for watching. See you in the upcoming videos.